Hey, what is going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be talking about the latest update as of October 17th, 2017. This firmware update is 4.3.1 and in this video we will only be covering the camera settings. There's a lot of great options introduced in this latest upgrade and I will be covering that in future videos. First, we need the latest firmware to the Bebop and the Sky Controller and in this video I am using the Bebop 2 drone and the Sky Controller Black Edition. Although this will work the same for the Sky Controller 2. As I stated earlier, there has been some changes to the screen in this new update. To get into the custom camera settings, tap the settings icon in the top center portion of the screen. This will change the screen to the adjustment options for the camera. Starting from the bottom left, we have our aperture indicator of 2.3 and frame rate of 30 frames per second. On the bottom right, we have the storage capacity available, which at this point is the max at 7 gigs. In the center, we have our adjustable EV slider, which can be moved by pressing and sliding to the desired exposure value. However, changes only show once you release the press of your finger. It does not allow for a preview as you slide and hover, but hopefully this can be fixed in a future update. Moving to the upper left of the screen now, we have the back icon to exit the Bebop's camera view and enter back into the Free Flight Pro app menu area. To the right of it is the settings button. When pressed, we'll go to the drone's general settings screen. This is where you can adjust things like performance and network and controller settings. The next icon is only present while you are in picture mode. The DNG JPEG toggle button is selectable and a drop down is presented for you to choose what type of photo you would like to shoot in. Your options are DNG, JPEG, or JPEG 180 degrees. The DNG setting automatically takes the full 180 degree photo, but gives you a lot more room to play with in a photo editor of your choosing. For reference, this is what the 180 degree photos look like. You can start or continue to record video while you're in the picture profile, by selecting the record button on the controller and the red record light will be visible on the screen. Continuing on in the center here we have the picture and video toggle which slides to your desired option. Right next to it is your record timer and camera picture settings. This will show whether you are shooting in DNG or JPEG. And to the right of that we have the camera drone screen toggle, which changes the icon for photo mode or flight mode. To wrap it up, on the top right we have the option to change the hertz between 50 or 60 hertz, or you can also leave it to auto. Like the DNG JPEG drop down, on the opposite side you select the icon to have a drop down menu present itself. Next is the white balance icon. Select it to get a drop down to select the appropriate white balance for your environment. You can choose from auto white balance, tungsten bulb, daylight, cloudy, or white fluorescent. Last but not least in the upper far right corner you have your camera or record button where you can snap photos or start filming with the press of these buttons. This icon works in conjunction with the camera toggle in the center and the icons will match the selection. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.